Hi, I am Mary. Hi, I'm Jerome. And here at the University of Mulls, we've been working with sea cucumbers for over 25 years. Sea cucumbers are truly amazing creatures. I'm studying how they use odors and smell to communicate underwater. I'm working on their super stiff tissue. In a very short time, they can switch from a stiff state to a soft state. They do not have eyes, but they do perceive light, and I want to understand how it works. A high-quality genome of Folloteria scabra would provide us with a strong basis for future research in fields like regeneration, aquaculture, and the research, chemical ecology, biomimetism, and many others. But hey, don't take our word for it. Have a listen to the experts from around the world. I'd be using the scabra genome to see how they think and communicate with their environment. My team and I study how to replace the fishery that drove Holoteria scabra to near extinction with a sustainable aquaculture. This genome will improve our ability to control their reproduction. I'm working with the Sanger Institute to sequence the genome of this amazing animal, the common European starfish. Now we need to sequence the genome of its close relative, the sea cucumber. Sea cucumbers produce glues, and I'm looking for the genes coding for these adhesive proteins. I'm curator of invertebrates at the Florida Museum. I've been studying sea cucumbers for more than 35 years. Since 40 years, I've studied a lot of but there is still much to investigate. Go, 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 go